Yeah, that helped. That didn't that didn't hurt, absolutely. No, I had a real thing for her. I mean, I think I'd seen her in movies and plays and I thought she was kind of an astounding actress as well as amazing looking. Um, but so I was really eager to work with her. I think I was predisposed to to have good chemistry with her with it, you know, without even thinking about it. You know, it was just a piece of cake working with her. And I remember thinking, who the hell is this woman? And, and I finally got to work with her. It's a really interesting acting challenge. It's a kind of a pleasure of playing that character and that kind of thing is always fun. I mean, you have a kind of conflict for yourself as an actor and then you're setting up a nice conflict for the viewer. You know, they, they, they go back and forth between is this guy a bastard or is he not? Or is he actually a kind of a decent guy? So that's, a, to me, that's really, that's interesting. It's, you know, the character's so well written that if I just follow the script without screwing it up, I should be able to hit the right balance. I mean, I suppose I'm a bit romantic like he is. Not as much as he is, but, I mean, everything about that guy is outsized. I mean, you know, I think it was more the stuff that I couldn't, that I envied because I couldn't identify with it. I wouldn't chase after a woman at my wedding, another woman, and I wouldn't, you know, punch a guy in a hospital waiting room, and I wouldn't pull a gun on somebody. I mean, I wouldn't do all these things this guy does, which is why he was fun to play. I think actually one of the best things to shoot in the whole movie was that big long wedding sequence, which was like a, an ensemble of 350 people, because they had these incredible, they got the congregation of a synagogue to be the people in that movie. They took the entire congregation, and they all wanted to be in the movie. So they had this real, the sense of the reality of all those people knowing each other, even though, you know, you know there are all these great faces and stuff though. but. Doing all of those moments with all those, with Minnie and with Scott and then with Dustin and stuff and then with, with uh, Rosamond, it's a great sequence. It's got so much life to it and it was the kind of, the whole reason I wanted to do that movie was that kind of sweaty, drunken sort of life that that scene has. So that was really fun to do. Three days of that, it was really fun. The producer, Robert Lantos, was friends with Mordecai Ritchell. I knew who he was and I knew of the book and I knew what people thought of him in Canada. I know how important he is to Canadians. So in a lot of ways, the thing that it meant to me the most was I was afraid of blowing it for Canadians. I thought, you know, they're going to give this part to an American. And when I met them, I said, really, there's no Canadian guy you want to play this? Because it's such an important Canadian book. So I think the biggest concern I had was just, I didn't want to blow it and have Canadians pissed off at me for ruining this iconic book. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.